let's go to Disneyland. I've made it to London Gatwick and I've just stopped into Pure for some breakfast. So I got the Halloumi and Avo toast roll. So it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but that one is $3.95 and then a chai latte for $3.45. So $7.40, I just wanted a quick light bright bite. I can't get my words out. A light bite this morning because um, I've not eaten anything since last night. So I'm going to eat this and I'll fill you in on what we're up to. Hello, so I had finished my blooming avocado. I probably said it was about three out of five. It's tasty. Would I say it was worth five? No, three ninety five. Probably not. Um, chai latte though is very good. I think it was a solid four. Um, so I should have seen from the title of this video and said so there are little clips for a left for the airport. I'm on my way to Disney. So I decided to walk in a spontaneous trip two weeks ago. Um, and yeah, this is the first trip I've been on myself. Normally I am travelling and then meeting somebody else when I'm there. So it's my first solo trip. I think it's a solo trip in Disneyland. So I thought I would bring you guys along for the majority of it. You'll be my company throughout the trip. So I had my first flight this morning. It was about 8.30. And so I was up at 6 to get myself ready. And then my flight from London to Paris is going to be um, about 1.50. So I arrived about 4.30. I have prepaid for the Magical Express to pick me up from the airport and take me to the hotel. And so I'm in one of Disney's partner hotels. So although I'm not in a Disneyland, hotel it is one of their part ones and um, so I booked all my things through the website and so I think I am getting the magic hours as well um, but I'll give a few a full breakdown of all that when we get to the hotel and we'll chat to me a bit more about everybody listening to what I'm saying so yeah that's the fun update so it is now it's to 11 so I've still got quite a lot of time to kill just my coffee and my light bulb and then I'll probably grab some lunch before I get on the plane. Um, and I'm like, oh, just watching Wednesday night. Has anybody else watched Wednesday? Absolutely loving it. So I'm not sure to get up with my coffee and then head off for a little trip around the airport. And of course I'll bring in with me. So I'll probably pick you up later. If not, I'll see you in Paris. I'd say, um, saying go to the gate for like 10 minutes, if that, and now it's saying boarding. So just making sure I get there in enough time. Do not want to miss this flight. My commandments was good, tasty. Um, I'd say about four out of five in overall, just because the service was a little bit slow, so it did mean I was rushing down my food to try and make sure I was out of time, popped off, I've got a bottle of water and now I'm on my way to 107 which is probably the furthest away gate of course. This journey to the gate is actually miles away. There's a couple of people here and there so I'm hoping I'm on a good time for it. The flight's not until 1.50 so surely it'll be fine. 
it's all absolutely fine. This is the lovely view that you're going to keep getting as I'm walking through. So we've made it to Paris Charles de Gaulle. I think I'm saying it right. God, my face looks horrendous. Um, and I've just gone through immigration. We landed about 10 to 4 and it's now 20 past 4. So it was about 30 minutes to get through. My transfer leaves at 4.30 and I still need to find it and it is in the next terminal. So I'm currently in terminal F, no, terminal 2D and I need to get to terminal 2F. So I'm currently on the lookout for that to make, see if I can try and make the 4.30 bus. If not, it's 5.25. So it's about an hour wait. So wish me luck and try to find it in 10 minutes. So this airport is massive. I've just been proper power walking to try and get here and it is now 31. So I think it is going to have gone. I'm still going because you never know. Um, now I need it to turn all to F. Um, and I'm now just trying to find corridor 8 to go down because apparently I need to find corridor 8 to be able to find the bus so good chance it's not going to be there but at least I know where I'm actually going <laughs> um, and let's hope that I find it and we found it look at that I've definitely missed the bus Just a little bit frustrating that it's about an hour drive and I'm going to be getting off somewhere and then needing to find my way to the hotel in darkness. So I'm now off the bus and walking to where I think the hotel is. I've Google Maps it. Um, I do know that there is two hotels very close by with the same, like a very similar name. So I'm hoping I'm going to the same one. Hoping I'm going to the right place. Um, so yeah, annoyingly, it doesn't actually take me to the hotel that I needed to go to, yet it was taking everybody else. So I did book it quite last minute and I did know I went for the cheapest hotel, um, which I will go into information about all in a bit. So Google Maps said it was about a 14 minute walk and I think the bus driver was trying to direct me to another bus to get there. Um, but I didn't really know what he meant so I just thought I would just walk and hope for the best and see if I find it. So that is the Val de Europe shopping centre that I knew I was by um, and it just seems like it's a straight walk from there up. I can see a P for Primark coming up on the right. So I've literally just walked on the outskirts of a shopping centre and I think I'm, I'm just following this road straight up. It should be on my right hand side. So pretty. Ooh. 
but it crossed very quickly. And it looks like this is my hotel right here. City apartment. This looks about right. Well, excuse what I look like, but we have made it to the hotel. Um, it's a little bit interesting to say the least. I haven't really had a proper look around, so I thought I would show you all of that right now. We can do it together. First impressions. I can't get the door to lock, which puts me slightly on edge. So, when it's open, it locks. When it's closed, it's not. So I am a little bit on edge about that because outside, I am on the ground floor, number 63, and it is all just like the open space into the car park. Um, so first off, a little bit apprehensive about that. I may end up calling reception just to see if they can get that organized, but it's fairly massive. So you come in and we have, what do we have here? Oh, safe and wardrobes. There we go, right off the bat as you come in, dustpan and brush. Come in here, it's self-catered this one. Again, massive wardrobe. What have we got in here? Interesting, okay. So I've got the electrics and things. Coming into here, we do have a little kitchenette. Oh, more cupboards behind here. Oh, maybe they aren't open. Oh, there we go. Shelving. Yeah, a little kitchenette. We've got some utensils there. Mugs. Kettle. Plates. Fridge. Dishwasher. Dishwasher tablets up there. Trash. So, coffee machine. Dining room table, sofa, sofa bed. I'm presuming that's going to pull out into a sofa bed too. Looks like it would. TV screen, cupboards again. Oh, with extra pillows and everything that might come in handy. So I assume for the sofa beds and everything. Coming round. What's in here? What's this? Oh, wrong one. That's a light switch. Oh, it smells a bit funky in here, I have to say. Okay. Big wardrobe. Massive wardrobe. God, I've got a whole sweet to myself. In here, Ooh, bathroom, there's the light switch for in here. Is it this one? There we go. Towels, could be softer. Shower, I don't know how I'm going to fit under that. Oh, I can extend it. They've all got a higher hook. So that's good. We've got some hand wash there. What have we got there? Body and hair cleanser. More towels, loo roll. So no bathroom in here. Ah, there's the toilet. That's what I meant. So toilet in this room. Okay, so it's looking like, let's see what's out the window on this side, shall we? Oh, radiator. 
can't see a thing. Let's keep this closed, shall we? Um, interesting. Interesting room. I'm gonna keep this door open. God, I can't see it. So pitch black. I'm gonna keep this door open and see if I can get out the smell, but it's a wee bit funky. Yeah, I think you've just had that whole room tour on diagonal, so I do apologize. Um, I mean, it's a massive place. Do I need it to be this big? No, it was last minute. So like I said, I think it was just what they could offer. Um, but yes bit stinky and I do not like how I can't lock that door so I think I will be calling to guest services because I know I'm just going to freak myself out all night and I generally don't know if I could sleep with that smell it just smells like mold um so not a great start luckily I got there when I did because literally after I was there the line was out the door um so I don't know if a bus had just got in or what was going on but there was lots of people there but I did get given a little um envelope Ooh, nearly dropped you there a little envelope of things so I thought I'd show you what I got so obviously room key um in the envelope I got these things so if I was driving and wanted to park at Disney, I would have got parking for free. So that's pretty handy, you know, if you are coming for a long time and you've got, you want to bring your car with you. I also received kind of a breakdown, I think it must be, of park ticket and the stay 28th to the 1st of the 12th, park ticket for four days, and coupon yeah so kind of telling you everything everything that's in there and then of course the main thing my 30th disney book day pass for the 30th anniversary how cute is that love it so again on the back says four days from the 28th of the 11th which is today to the 5th of the 12th so I suppose if I didn't want to start using it today I didn't have to but obviously we will um yes and then I did also ask about the shuttles to the park because with it being a partner hotel you do get a free shuttle to the park um and there we go I'll show you this this is what he gave me so we are here and you just go out and then turn left and that is where it picks you up. Um, I can't remember, I think he said if it's going to the park, it's on the right, if it's coming back, it's on the left. So, hotel. And then to the hotel, so there must be the park times. Oh, daytime, evening. All right. And then I spot the colour of the day on the calendar, then I consult my schedule. Okay. Um, that is, he says it's platform F, and they're the times of the day. Um, so we're having a look at this. I am planning on going into Disney tonight. I may just go and raise my concern at reception depending on how busy it is. If not, I can deal with it on my way back. I have got my case locked, so that's not an issue. Um, and hope, like I said, hope that the smell in that room just kind of dies down because it's, it's not the most pleasant. It really does smell like mold. Um, and I'm not too happy about spending it sleeping in a room that smells like mold and not being able to lock the door the two main things you know that you want to be able to rely on on your stay so that is something that i am gonna have to go and speak to them about but despite looking like i've been hit by a bus because it has been a very long day of travel 
I am going to check out the times, see if I can get my head around this timetable first. Um, I think it's up to November. I need a December one as well. And I will get back to you in a moment. Let's go. So like I said, we are on the outside. So here's the parking. It looks like I can get to the lobby there. I'm gonna go around this way. Hello, Tower of Terror. I see you over there. The lights in the sky. You can see a little tink over there. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> she feel really emotional. I've not even seen anything yet. Just seeing like tink in the distance and Tower of Terror. So the shuttle picked me up about 7.33 and it's 7.42. So that was very speedy, I have to say. Well, I can see the Rainforest Cafe over there. That is where I think I want to go and try and get some food. Like I said, it's now 7.42. Um, so I am going to try and go to eat. Oh my God, I've just seen. Ooh, just wait till you see what I've just seen. Can you see it in the distance? Disneyland Paris. So we've got five guys. Fan piano. Well, I am beyond excited right now. Oh no, look! The tower and everything! Ah! Disneyland Paris, I see you! Oh my gosh, and look! Security time! Oh my gosh, we're in. Look. It is so beautiful. I'm so happy to be here right now. So, plan of action. It is late night tonight, so they're going to be open till parks open until nine um, but all I'm thinking is going to see if I can get somewhere to eat it's quarter to eight though so realistically I'm not going to be able to go to the park if I go for food now what I might try to do is go and book somewhere for food um, and then maybe pop in the park for an hour and then come back um, 
because I might just make it for the, the fireworks and just sit and stand in Main Street like at the end and then run out might be my option um, oh my gosh it's all so magical look at little Christmas stalls so that's everyone going to the train oh my gosh look at these little Christmas stalls and everything Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is. Ah. So, first stop, Rainforest Cafe, I think. And look, look at all the decorations. Oh yeah, there's quite a line. So I'm going to join that now, I think. Can you see that? <laughs> so I've received a little passport. I don't quite know what I do with it, but... Bonjour les enfants, je suis là avec Tracy. Vous avez vu dans le réseau de vos rangs et vos chers Et tous ces jeux amusants Tracy T's talking again. Mm. I love this cafe so much. Jeez Louise, look at the size of that fish. Jesus. So we've got all our cocktails here. These are our favourites with the little leaves, I think. The green cycling. So I asked for a glass of tap water and I got my own jug. So my cocktail has arrived. Let's give it a taste. So bon for the mozzarella sticks and the chicken quesadillas.
this meal was delicious. So it is currently quarter to nine and like I said the park is a little bit closer than nine. The next the fire show is at nine o'clock. So I'm just trying to see if I can oh it's all stayed in here. It's absolutely freezing, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna see if I can get into the park just before nine and just see a little bit of the parade or do a ride or something. Um, even just to look, walk down Main Street. Because um, I have got a park ticket for today, so I just feel like I should try it and see. Um, but I'm just walking there now to see if I can get in and we'll see. First glimpse of Hollywood Studios. That is well and truly closed. That finished at, closed at seven o'clock today. Um, but look. Look at the Disneyland Hotel. It's so beautiful. It's currently under construction and it's meant to keep going until 2025. So it's a long piece of work that they're doing on that. It is freezing. Definitely bringing my hat with me tomorrow. I've got my gloves in my bag, which I might put on. Um, yeah, so chilly. And it's because it's a clear sky, there's not one cloud in the sky. But looks like I am not the only person with this idea of going to the park to see the parade. There's quite a few people walking in this direction. Um, everyone just wanting a, a glimpse of the magic. Music is so happy. Come on, I'm so happy right now. I can't believe this. I haven't been to Disneyland Paris since I want to say I was maybe 14. Um, I have been to Disney World last time it was it, three years ago. So it's been some long needed magic in my life. Look at it. So beautiful. We're going in, I can see the 30. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is stunning. I can't. Oh my gosh. I can see the castle. Oh, Disney. You are beautiful. And I made it 8.52. Oh my gosh. All the trees and then this. Look at it. It's huge. Oh my gosh, this park is just incredible. Chers amis, nous vous invitons dans quelques instants à découvrir Disney Delight. Merci. Dear friends, in just a few minutes, Join us for Disney Delight. Thank you. Generally, can't believe it. Look at it. I'm starting to well up. It's so beautiful. Not me crying at their 30th thing. That's Disney Dreams of Christmas. Generally, it did not stop smiling throughout that whole thing. So I didn't record any of it, I just watched it myself and then I am gonna record on another day. Um, yeah, it's so cute. So the shops are all a little bit rammed now. Everyone's leaving. Just mooching my way to the castle a little bit, have a clearer look at her. 
And she looks beautiful with her Christmas lights on. Just wait. She's incredible. Look. At this castle. Oh my gosh. Gosh, it feels so good to be back in the magic of Disney once again. Just look at this place with all the lights on. It is the happiest place on earth. Look at it. Oh, Main Street, you are so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. That castle is unbelievable. So magical. I found you, casting agency door. It takes people to make the dream a reality. That it does. It starts snowing. Just in awe of how beautiful this place is. So, with my snow in my hair, that is going to be me for tonight here in Disneyland. So, I'm going to check what time my um, shuttle back to the hotel is. Um, I still need to try and figure that out when I get back. Um, and then I also need to, um, I'm gonna check that time, depending what time that time is, I might have a little wander around the Disney Village and then head on back to the hotel so I'm ready for tomorrow. So the shuttle seems like it goes quite regularly. So I'm gonna wander through Downtown Village. No, Disney Village. I to say to call it Downtown Disney then. Bye, Mr. Mickey Mouse. See you tomorrow. I think it might be time for a look around the world of Disney. A little tink up there. Look at her. You know, it's been a good week when your shelves are empty. <coughs> and it's only Monday. Yeah. This is in the Art of Disney shop. And just look how incredible this is. Oh. <laughs> Not 
lots of very cool stuff in here. Wow, look at this. That's lovely. Cup, I've got it in the shop. Lots of very cool stuff. You alright there, Mickey? I'll see you tomorrow. So, I was told I want to stand F. So, this is what we're going for. So it's got Disneyland Paris and then three hotels that it stops at. So it's got 23.03 and it's currently, I think, 22.52. My watch has just died. So the bus has just turned up. It's 11.14. So I don't know how reliable these times actually are. So it's now 25 past 11. I'm off the shuttle back to the hotel and I'm going to see about trying to change my room. So other than being overtaken in the line by about four people, I finally got to speak to somebody and he just kind of said they're going to sort it out tomorrow. And I said, I really don't feel comfortable sleeping in a room I can't lock. Um, and he was like, we'll sort it. And I was like, no, I need someone to come and look at it today because I can't sleep in there tonight. Um, so we said he was going to come and look at it, so I suppose I'd give him 15 minutes and then phone because it's getting late and I know I've gone out and enjoyed myself. Um, so obviously if I'd waited around and got it sorted, I might have been sorted, but I also wasn't going to waste a whole day. Um, so decisions come with consequences, it is what it is. And I suppose I just wait and see. So I'll give it 15 minutes and then I'll update you. So it is now nearly half an hour later. And nobody has come to check the door. And I've tried to phone and I can't get through it again. So really not ideal right now. Um, I suppose I'll wait another 15 minutes and then I'll go back to the desk. Okay, so it's now 20 past 12. Um, I did phone back now, managed to get through to somebody. And he is basically, when I mentioned about the door, said that it's nothing I should worry about. Nobody can get in. It's a conversation he's had previously with somebody. Doesn't make me feel a lot better. Um, and then also I was like, well, why couldn't someone have said that then when I was there? an hour ago rather than waiting an hour for you to get in touch with me. <sighs> Frustrating. Um, and then I did mention about, he said he can get somebody to come check tomorrow morning. So I said, well, why so there? Can you come and check about the damp smell then? Um, I have had the door open. I've tried to air it out, but there was still quite a prominent smell of like damp or musk coming from that room. And he was like, okay, come right into reception and we are gonna change your room. So, fingers crossed, I'll keep you up to date. Not how I thought my first day was gonna to go to plan, but you know, every day's a, a hurdle, not a hurdle, every day's an adventure, I should say. So let's go see if they can figure me out a new room. Okay, we've ordered a change of room. The door locks a little more than it was. We're still on like an outside room, um, but it's warm in here and it doesn't smell like damp. So we're on to a puzzle. So this is the room. And you come in, all way my bag just dangling down. Covered in there again with that stuff. Oh, somebody's sock, lovely. Oh, sitting room again, kitchenette. and dirty bath nice so not probably as clean as it should be I don't know if you can see that out there but do you know what it will do at least the door's locked now 
So the Christmas pajamas are on. The bags are under the eyes. And I think it's time for me to go to bed. It is now like 12.30, quarter to one maybe. I've somehow lost the toothpaste that I bought in the airport, which I'm really annoyed about. Um, so I might have to tip everything out tomorrow and see if it's fallen somewhere in my bags. If not, there's going to be a lot of chewing gum tomorrow morning until I find some more toothpaste. Hopefully they've got some in the lobby because I know they've got some little bits. God, those bags are a beautiful. So I am going to leave this vlog here. It's been a little bit higgledy-piggledy higgledy this travel day, I should say. Um, from being up at 6am to now being nearly one in the morning and finally going to sleep, from moving rooms to going down to the Disney village and seeing some of the Disney magic again. So exciting. So like I said, I didn't film too much of the parks and things today. I am going to be filming more tomorrow. I'm currently trying to get everything charged up and ready to go. And so I can bring you with me for the majority of tomorrow, hopefully. So that will be it until next week. And then you can see a little bit more Disney context. Context? Contact. Content. That's how long the day has been. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about my solo trip and how it all planned and the cost of things, which I was meant to go over today. And everything's just gone like a whirlwind. And like I said, all of a sudden it's one in the morning and we're still here. So... Until next week, have courage and be kind. Bye.